I am. <laughs> she caught it was you. Awesome, yeah. She caught you dancing. It was it was also very <laughs> funny because she said going dark and then I could still see my face on the screen. I said that never happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> you I'm laughed at that one too hard, right. Miss Sandy. You're laughing way too hard. Oh, right she's now. beat red. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't even gotten That's started, awesome. and we're already off the rails. We are off the rails. I thought it would take two minutes. Mm, not it, yeah, <laughs> yeah. We've been hello, hello, and then we're off the rails. Right. Nope. Instant laughter. Ten seconds. <laughs> that was wonderful. I want to thank you for that, Miss Sandy. <laughs> Good Comedic evening. Relief. Comedic <laughs> relief. Uh, I'm Chauncey, <laughs> and this is Brittany. And Brittany's coughing yeah. right now because yeah. she's happy to be here. I am. She is happy to yeah, be here. I am happy to be here. They're and used to me. I cough all the time. Really? <laughs> I, I do. Didn't, I've never noticed it before. <clears throat> well, you pointed it out, so they will now. <laughs> <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> Thank you. So Ken is here. What up, Ken? Ken. Manahaya hi, Mahame haya ho. That's how I say his last name. That's that Malala it, pronunciation we were just talking about. <laughs> that <is> I can't. <laughs> That's epic. That's funny. Oh, goodness. Well, hi, guys. We are so glad that you are here. Just a reminder for the Tuesday night recap. Um, anytime that you are having maybe a prayer request, you want to talk to us, we'll maybe ignore you, maybe say <laughs> what you <laughs> say what your comment is and, <laughs> and check back with you. Mostly we'll just laugh with you. It's really, I think <laughs> we're going to have the giggles all night. All night, all which night. is perfect. And it is. We're laughing right now because we just saw Ken go, wow. Yeah. <laughs> that was funny. <laughs> With that delay, he's like, that is a new take on my name. Yes. Not heard that one. <laughs> I can't wait to use it. Oh, I love it. Um, let's see. We have announcements. Mm-hmm. And I didn't take any notes because <clears throat> Pastor Mike's uh, sermon, like he was like, I don't have a whole lot of notes. He just had scriptures and he just wrote down different things. Mm-hmm. And so I didn't bring any notes. And then I look over here in front of Brittany and she has <laughs> a packet, a of, packet notes. of notes. So Brittany's in charge tonight. <laughs> I'm just here to be uh, her hype man. But <laughs> we all know that God's going to do his thing. So it's going to be awesome. Yep. Yep. Um, what are our announcements? Our announcements is just a reminder that we have the Sunday morning prayer that started at 9 a.m. every Sunday morning to pray for the pastor, the message, um, and whatever it is, else it is they pray for. I have mm-hmm. not been yet. I yeah. have an intention to go every week, and then that's when I get in the shower. And I'm like, say, oh, I'm oops. A little late. <laughs> My, a smidge behind schedule. Just a little bit. And it takes me longer than two seconds to get ready and get down here. So, yeah. um, But that is 9 a.m. downstairs in the fellowship hall. And then another reminder that we do gather Monday evening at 6.30. Mm-hmm. If maybe that works better for your schedule, you're not showering then. <laughs> and that is in the sanctuary. Um, and then, of course, men's retreat is this weekend. It is. For all, are you going? I am going. I'm Ooh. excited about it. I'm driving the van. <clears throat> okay. It's the church's big, what is it, like 15 passengers van. And we're going to pack a bunch of people, a mm. bunch of smelly men in that thing, and then drive was, for three, okay. three and a half hours. The good Did news the windows is work? showers. Yes, they have okay. those little things <laughs> where you, go, you just pop it, and then there's like three inches. Mm-hmm. So you will all be driving with our nose right there. Yeah, whatever works. <laughs> whatever We're taking works. teenagers, so it's going to be a mixture of oh. B.O. and Axe. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it will. <laughs> I'm going to move on. Um, Pastor Mark says there's almost 30 of you guys going. Yes. Oh, that's so cool. It is awesome. That'll be fun. It's going to be awesome. Yeah. It's always awesome. We have a good time. And outside of all the fun that is, it already is. Mm-hmm. What happens more than anything else is God shows up, mm-hmm. and that's the best part. Yeah, yeah. that's amazing. Yes. Um, it's It sounds like it's a good time of rest. Oh, ooh, ooh. segue, anyone? Like that segue? Oh, hey my oh. goodness. <laughs> that had more than two wheels and one steering wheel. That was a mighty segue. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's just, I, you know, I was telling Chauncey before we started, I walked out of here on Sunday sweaty. Mm. I was so sweaty because mm. I was convicted. Yeah. And if you didn't leave Sunday convicted, um, I mean, either kudos or check your pulse. Either that or you're probably, yeah. a, your last name is Sheik. Yeah, right? <laughs> <laughs> I, I was joking because I sit a couple of rows behind them. And when Pastor Mike had people raise their hand, if like, do you practice Sabbath? They were like, 
very <laughs> shyly <laughs> very humble about uh-huh. the approach and right. i'm like of course they were mm-hmm. um and not me immediately thinking I want to go glean from them. Right. What do you do? How do you do this? How do you practice this? And then pastor was like, don't make it a checklist. I'm like, well, I've already <laughs> failed. I haven't even gotten started and I've already failed. <laughs> I want the checklist. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Um, it's funny because uh, I'm a part of another group that we just, all we do is read the Bible and, and discuss amongst ourselves. Mm-hmm. And one of the things we recently talked about uh, was... What is easier to live in grace as we do now or mm. to live back then where they had the law? Mm. And there's two schools of thoughts of that because it's like mm. you think when you when I immediately say that you automatically think grace because easy. Yeah. But we don't live that way. But though. we don't live that way. Mm-hmm. But exactly. Mm-hmm. And when you and then it was that's the argument because with the law, you have as long as I don't do these things, mm-hmm. I can do anything else. Of yeah. course, that's how they got into trouble. But right. And then, so there's six of one and half dozen of the other. But the thing that I love to tell people when they start thinking about a checklist, mm-hmm. I say, do you have a checklist with your spouse? Mm. How do you love your spouse? Mm. Do you say, okay, I hugged her. I hugged him. Right. I gave him a kiss. I gave him a high five. I sent him one text. Mm, checklist is I have to do three texts a day. Mm-hmm. You don't. Right. It's an off. It's an outpouring of love. So it should be the same way when you, when you your mm-hmm. relationship with God. So if you have to write it down, that's okay. Mm-hmm. And so that's the sticky widget is because Pastor Mike says, mm-hmm. don't have a checklist. Well, what he's trying to say is, right. Don't make it. Don't confine I, yourself. I've completed to, exactly. Mm-hmm. I've completed this. Now I can get back to work. Mm-hmm. No, it should be a labor of love. Yeah, yeah. I I love that so much. So I was raised Seventh Day Adventist. Oh, <laughs> everybody has that reaction. Oh, yeah. Um, well, because you you hear stories. Like you, if you're not there, you've you've heard stories. And they're sh- yes, they're sto- <laughs> <laughs> she's, she's here to confirm the story. <laughs> We are live. There is no <laughs> editing here. Um, no, they are wonderful people Absolutely. and they love the Lord. Yes. So that is not. Um, as long as we have Christ in common. Yes. God Amen. bless them. Amen. Um, but they. I could learn a lot about yes. Sabbath from them because yeah. we absolutely held to the standard of Friday sundown to Saturday sundown. Mm. You attend church. That's the only thing you're allowed to do. Mm-hmm. And it was always confusing to me because you're not supposed to cook. But then we would have potlucks which was my favorite thing. And then there's me who's like eight years old. And I'm like, where's the bacon in this? Like, you know, but you're not allowed to have that. It was a vegetarian spread. And I'm like, "Mm, I'm uncomfy. I want, (laughs) I want the food. Um, So I always had a lot of questions there. And I think with that, I threw out a lot of the practices because it didn't make sense to my kid brain. And Sabbath is not one that I have pulled back. Yeah. Because it's like, but I'm, but I'm doing for you, Lord. Mm. Like I'm doing for you, and yeah. He's like, I didn't ask you to, Ooh, right? That's so good. And I'm like, but, but it makes me feel better because mm. then if I sin, I can cover that oh up with gosh. look at what I did, and so at, needless to say, I, I was very. Uncomfortable I'm gonna on have Sunday. to ask Brittany <laughs> to take off the steel toe boots and stop stomping around out here because my wearing plastic Birkenstocks. Come my, on, <laughs> my toes just got hurt right there. Right. When you do stuff and then you try to say, "Well, but I serve at the church." Man, that was so yeah. good. That yeah. was. And how many days do you serve? So I you're. Know. I mean, you know. It's easy. I don't to have a say. checklist, Brittany. I don't know how many days I'm sorry. What are you Own asking? <laughs> in, in all honesty, <coughs> I think so. Monday night is prayer. I mm-hmm. don't consider that serving. I consider right. that praying. That's yeah, for that's, me. That, sort of I like, feel like Sunday. That's rest. Yeah, that's rest. sort of like Sundays for me. Mm-hmm. Tuesday, this would be the thing I do, and that only happens once every so often. Right. Wednesday is either worship or, or youth. Mm-hmm. Um, He's gonna say every day in the week, isn't he? No, <laughs> I don't do any, I don't do anything. <clears throat> Thursday, Friday used to be set aside for uh, Spanish ministry, mm-hmm. but we don't. And, and and again, I wasn't serving at Spanish ministry. Mm-hmm. I would go because those people were awesome, and they some delicious food Mm -hmm. and then we would play volleyball and i love that was rest Mm -hmm. 
I loved hanging out with Spanish Mystery. Chris yeah. Boss is here. Chris can he can <laughs> Pastor Daniels up in here. What up, PD? Um, but Chris could <laughs> tell you because Chris was out there. Him and I sweating with yeah. Spanish Ministry. Yeah. Those people were serious about volleyball. <laughs> I believe it. If we have time later, I'll tell you some stories. <laughs> okay. I love that you say, though, this whole time that you're not serving because, honestly, just from I, – I don't know you very well, but mm-hmm. just from the past year of attending Monaz, you may not see certain things as serving, but you are serving the kingdom every right. time. It may not be a specific on the worship team on Sunday with mm-hmm. a specific designated task, but I think – we are all serving yeah. and you are influencing and you are. So my first Sunday here, you came up and gave me a big hug and I'm like, I don't know this man. Um, <laughs> I heard hi. so much about <laughs> you though. It was, I, I just hearing that I feel bad because I was like, man, Oh, that's pretty. Yay. Yeah. And, I love that. And you're that. like, uh, <laughs> I know. And I'm, what's also funny is I'm not a hugger and oh, all okay. these strangers Ooh, hugged me and yeah. I'm like, at least y'all are nice. <laughs> Oh my gosh. I, I found out from someone else that goes to our church that mm-hmm. she is not a hugger. Mm-hmm. And I hugged her every time I saw her. Yeah. And she said, you know what? I can't stand hugs, but something about you. Yeah. It's like. If you don't hug I me come next in Sunday, like I'm going to be offended. Oh, no. I'm going to be You're like, excuse hugged. me. No, it's, we've already passed that point. We're, we're <laughs> right? hugging every time now. <laughs> That's oh my gosh, we haven't even gotten to the notes. Isn't that lovely? Oh, that's like awesome. I'm convicted and uncomfortable already, and we already <laughs> we haven't even gotten there. That's Holy um, Spirit. I know he he was talking to me a lot, and what I mm. have to say before we even really dive into the notes of this is it was two days ago. My husband and I were sitting down, and we were we had just gotten done with dinner. He turned on TV. We were watching TV, and. I said, I really, I have a big order that I need to work on right now. I'm like, I really need to be working on this and Mm. I just don't want to. Mm -hmm. And he goes, I really should go work on the car and I don't want to. And so we turned, we went back to TV and then I said, this is why we can't practice Sabbath. And he goes, well, and we turned off the TV, got up and got our stuff done. And it was like, that's a really good reminder. We can still work really hard. Yes. Six days a week. Mm -hmm. God's asking for one, and we can't give him that. It's spicy. It was. I I really say a lot of these things, and I'm like, why did I do that? (laughs) (laughs) Now I have to go work. And I worked until (laughs) bedtime, and I slept so good. Good. I'm like, isn't that? Rest is important. Mm -hmm. It is. And it is okay. Nice. It is okay. So Pastor Mike had, I mean, His notes are all scripture. Right. It is all scripture. And I loved the posture of sitting down and resting while he did this. Yes. I thought that was a really cool visual aid of, I mean, it was just such a humble resting. It felt like we were in a living room with him. Right. And it was more conversational versus, yeah. 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 And I I really appreciated that. But he was talking about how rest is both physical and spiritual. Yes. And I like physical rest. I don't have a problem doing Mm -hmm. that. (laughs) The couch is there for that. Right? Like, te- I am. I can be a lazy bones. <laughs> like, that proverb about the ant and the lazy bones, I am like, I identify with you. Not That's why I don't bones. love proverbs all the time. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't make me do something. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <coughs> We've got Pastor Mark coming in with, like, the spiritual side of this. I guess we should, we should go there. Uh, a little bit. The Sabbath is also about reflection on the things we've done. When God rested, he sat back and said, it is good. That's a good point. Yeah, I I do like that. So I guess then it also makes sense that the things that we're doing, are they good? Are mm. they worthy of reflection or Ooh. are they worthy of like, ooh, I need to do better? Because mm-hmm. we can all do better. Amen. But, yeah. Um, well, see, I knew I wasn't going to like it. <laughs> I'm like, oh, man, I'm already. <laughs> but, I mean, conviction <laughs> is always good, though, because yes. that that's just communication from God. Mm-hmm. So... I actually, before I came to Monaz, and it was during, I think, when you guys were doing whatever you did in here before, oh. uh, there was a lot of laughter then, too. But oh, yeah. somebody had said conviction is is just the Holy Spirit dragging Talking you to back you. to Jesus. Yep. And I, that's me. Like, mm. I need that. I need to be drugged sometimes. Amen. And I, I think one, I think at some time or another, we all have to be drugged. Mm-hmm. Maybe kicking or screaming, mm-hmm. maybe pouting with our heels dug into the carpet. I never but, pout. Oh. Ask my husband. He will mm. affirm. Mm. 
<laughs> but Jesus. <laughs> I stamp my feet so a little good. bit. I can, you know, I don't have to have kids to remember what it was like to be a toddler. Uh-huh. She didn't get you doing that. Oh, I'm glad. We got to switch. That was just for you. That was uh, just for you. I need to have my phone up to take, to take <laughs> pictures of this. This is hilarious. Nice. One thing that he talked about that I was so excited was Elijah. Yes. I love that story. I love it, too. It is is one of my favorite Bible stories. As soon as you brought it up, I started laughing because I knew he was going to be like, sometimes you need a snack and a nap. Uh (laughs) Uh-huh, right? And what I love so much about this is, so he just witnessed a huge miracle. Huge. Like in the face of Jezebel, like ha, ha, ha. Huge. And then he goes and runs and pouts and is like, all of the other prophets have died and I'm the only one serving you. And I'm the only, like so relatable, Mr. Elijah. It is, it's so (laughs) funny. It is for, I mean, I'm pretty sure all you guys know, but we're going to be speaking to those who might be watching this later Mm -hmm. who don't know. Elijah was a prophet of God who, at this point with the, that, that Pastor Mike is bringing up, um, they were, what's the word I'm, what I want to use, that they always use? They were being, they were, ugh. I don't know where you're going with it. <laughs> they were, they were <laughs> not. They were disobedient, rebellious. They were prophets for false gods. False gods. There you go. But when you pray to false gods, you are. <laughs> Worshipping. Not worshiping, the other word. Uh, Words are hard. I don't know. uh, If you're not worshiping God, you are worshiping something else. It is a idol. So they were idol. Man, it took a while to get there, didn't it? Really? Easy word (laughs) for us to miss. Wow, we're doing great. Sandy, stop laughing. So they were idolizing and they were being (laughs) idols. And they were worshiping <laughs> idols, and they had mm-hmm. hundreds, wasn't it hundreds of different so-called pastors or whatever they mm-hmm. were calling them? And they were, was it Dagon? No, it wasn't Dagon. It was wh- whatever. Was it Baal? Baal, it mm-hmm. was. Whatever fake god it was, it was Baal. And, you know, worship. And, and then there's this one prophet of God, and he's like, get the wood, mm-hmm. prepare the sacrifice, now throw water on it. Mm-hmm. Throw more water on You missed on it. one of the funniest parts. Oh, when he starts yelling Is at them? Is your God in the bathroom? <laughs> Maybe he's sleeping. Yell louder. Maybe he's on the toilet. Bro, Elijah was, he was savage. So sassy. He's sassy. So sassy. <laughs> My goodness. That is one of the best parts. Yeah, I love it. And People and who say the Bible is boring. Right. Like, come on. Come on. It is a telenovela. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and then he here, here's Elijah. <laughs> douse it with water, douse it again, douse mm-hmm. it again, douse it again. This thing mm-hmm. is covered in water. There's a pool of water. And then he's like, God, show them. Yeah. And fire falls from heaven mm-hmm. and roasts everything. Yeah. So imagine you just did that. And then and then you immediately go, oh, God, I'm scared. Right? I don't know <laughs> if you can protect me. Bro, you just had all of these all of these false prophets and all of these idolizers absolutely destroyed you Uh just had fire come out of nowhere and Uh and lick up every drop of water and lick up the sacrifice and now you you're afraid Uh he just needed a snack and a nap yeah sometimes yeah god just pulled him into a cave and that still small boy it wasn't the fire it wasn't (laughs) the wind it wasn't the earthquake it was that still small voice because when you're freaking out Mm. god is like hey yeah it's me over here oh my gosh that's so good it's over here okay we're done that's <laughs> that's it do you what do you what more do you what more do you need <laughs> that was awesome come on man i told you i love that story oh my, it's, it's a so good, good. That was amazing stuff. and then the angel of the lord comes and is like here's bread yeah which, oh, bread hello bread. which also foreshadowing for jesus and the bread of life and giving him life back mm. reminding him hey do don't kill yourself yeah oh my gosh, um so good but also carbs are life. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that's a takeaway I'm supposed to take from that, but <laughs> Oh, that's good. Just carbs are life. <laughs> There's no dieting around here. Come on, guys. <laughs> and then and then it is. It's take a nap, take yeah. a rest. And rest. it's that physical rest. It keeps your anxiety at bay cuz mm. you can't be anxious when you're sleeping. Mm-mm. Um 
as somebody who really struggles with anxiety, mm. I really appreciate that story yeah. of the reminder to go lay down, mm-hmm. go chill out, go pet your dog, like whatever <laughs> it takes, <laughs> just go take a breather. If Elijah had a dog, he probably would have been all right. He would, right? I mean, he was all right anyway because he had God, but I think that's why dogs are the reverse of God because they're pretty cool. Mm-hmm. They're pretty cool. Yeah. Yep. Good absolutely. Stuff. So in that, Pastor Mike was saying, you know, sometimes it feels like you just want to give up. Mm-hmm. And so if you're in that space, I've also heard that water is a really good, like either you need to go to the ocean mm. and you need to feel and hear the waves. Yeah. You need to drink more water because nice. we're all dehydrated little pickles oh is my what goodness. we are. <laughs> <laughs> and we're 70% water. Yeah. Fill it back up. Right. Or take a shower. Nice. One of those things. I am a hot shower person. Yeah. Yep. (laughs) I feel like we just found Chauncey's (laughs) therapy. (laughs) I'm there right now. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And that's restful. Mm -hmm. That's for those of you who that, you know, like my husband who can't sit down. Oh. Have a hard time resting in that way. Yeah. He is a, he's a doer and a goer and that's how we get anything done because I'm the opposite. Again, I'm the lazy bones. Oh, okay. So just like our relationship, Nisa and my relationship, Mm -hmm. I'm the lazy bones. Mm -hmm. She's the, and she'll, she'll go, I didn't get anything done today. And I'll go, good. Yeah. Did you have a good day? You you watch your shows, you enjoy your, you get to read, Mm -hmm. you did some praying and some Bible reading. That's okay. Yeah, that's a because good Because the good. things you didn't do can get done tomorrow. Yeah. That's the problem for me is there's always more to do. Yeah. Well, so it's, you're never. You're it's, never done. It's laundry. <clears throat> that's I, and my I, least and I'm not favorite. saying I'm not <laughs> saying that's what our, our house is. I'm telling you everything yeah. that you're worried about yeah. is basically laundry, which means that as you continue to live life, you're going to continue to dirty it mm-hmm. and you're going to continue to need to clean it dry it Mm. fold it and put it away the house if you own a house eventually you're going to do some plumbing you're going to do some electrical Mm -hmm. you're going to do some roofing it's always going to be there it's always it can get done tomorrow and i mean Mm -hmm. if you have a hole in your roof and it's raining you got to get on that right now Mm -hmm. but everything else is like Mm. we can do it tomorrow yeah don't do it on the sabbath Okay, can we move on? And Sabbath, <laughs> and Sabbath doesn't have to be Saturday or Sunday. You get to choose what that is. Yeah. And something else is Sabbath, just set aside the time for God. Sabbath doesn't have mm-hmm. to be one whole day. Right. Why don't you just say, decide that, you know what, when I get off of work on Thursday, if I don't have anything else going on, that's my Sabbath. I'm going to Sabbath mm-hmm. yeah. Thursday evening. Yeah. And that's that's why it's not a checklist, because it doesn't have to be on this day. It doesn't have to be this amount of time. Mm-hmm. It just has to be your heart set aside mm. for rest and just rest in everything that God has for you. He's already provided mm. you with so much. Yeah. Enjoy. Just enjoy him. Enjoy the spirit. Enjoy your spouse. Enjoy your children. Yeah. Enjoy that couch. Mm-hmm. or the exercise equipment because you can sabbath on the extra uh, elliptical whatever it is mm-hmm. but just take god with you and 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 put everything else just in the rear view it's mm. just you and god man i feel like that just gave me so much freedom and breakthrough because i and i think it is my growing up seventh day mm-hmm. they're rigid you're not allowed on to that, cook yeah. you're not allowed to clean you're not allowed to do xyz it's about what you shouldn't do instead of what you should so that's why i wanted to go to andrew and sedona and say tell me everything i have to do <laughs> like tell me how to do this right because if i'm i'm a control freak so if mm. i'm going to do this i'm going to do this do and get right. my gold star at there the end of go. sabbath and that's not the right heart motive and so I think it's one of those things that it's it's better to not do it all than to do it with the wrong motive oh my sort gosh. of a thing. Maybe. I don't know. <laughs> I told her I was going to be her hype man. So this is where it's... <laughs> bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Mic drop. That's what just happened. In your face. That was yeah. so good. Yeah. If, you're, if you're not going to do it. Because if you don't do it right, if it's a checklist, yeah. then you're not actually doing the Sabbath. Yeah. You're just doing more work. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Just more works. And then... And yeah, calling because it rest. Right. And then you're not I'm you're sitting still on the couch. Be burnout. I'm sitting on the couch. I'm sitting on right? the couch. <laughs> Am Did I you resting see that? yet? <laughs> You'd be stressed out on the couch. 
I'm I sitting here. Honestly. I know I want to do laundry mm, right now, but no. I can't. No, who wants to do laundry? Oh my gosh. I have to do. That's not a get yeah. to. I no, have my not. first world when you, country when privilege. When you get your first washer or your first dryer, you want to. Yeah, then you want to. When you when you hear it in your house, how many like you look at your spouse cuz I doubt anyone's buying a washer or a dryer and not right. married. Right. Right. And you're just listening to that noise. And you're Did like, you hear that? That's ours. That's ours. It's working. We don't have to put quarters in it. Uh huh. <laughs> <laughs> but we have to do it all day instead of all at once. All day. <laughs> I really. Every day. You really could have picked any other household chore, and I would have been like, "Yeah, uh, laundry. I hate laundry <laughs> because you're always in. Cl- it's never it's done. Never done. Ever. Never. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so." <laughs> He also went over Hebrews 4, and I just got done on Saturday reading mm-hmm. that verse. I did a deep dive on that verse, nice. not recognizing that's what we would be talking about. How so about I was that? like, okay, that's fine. Um, but but what I love, it says, Therefore, since the promise of entering his rest still stands, let us be careful that none of you be found to have fallen short of it. For we also have had the good news proclaimed to us just as they did. But the message they heard was of no value to them because they did not share the faith of those who obeyed. Now, we who have believed enter that rest, Mm -hmm. just as God said, so I declared on oath in my anger, they shall never Mm -hmm. enter my rest. Mm -hmm. And yet his works have been finished since the creation of the world. For somewhere he has spoken about the seventh day in these words. On the seventh day, God rested from all of his works. And again, in the passage above, he says, they shall never enter my rest. And... That is to tell us, die. That it, it is finished. Good gracious. We're, we're not working for our salvation. So what are we working so hard she, for? She just. I hope y'all taking notes. She hitting y'all with Greek. <laughs> I can't spell that word, but I know. Exactly. I only can because I deep dove Holy Week. But that's so good though. <laughs> to tell us, die. To, to tell. Like to tell. To tell us die. Us die. Like you got a sty. Can your you eye. pronounce and? Uh, oh my gosh. <laughs> we're going to save that. I don't want to give them because it's going to come as a surprise. So we're going to save will. that. I love that so much. We're we're completely avoiding. So Chelsea, <laughs> we're going to move on. Chelsea said after Sunday, my thought has been, am I resting in the world or resting in the word? So Put that good. on a shirt. I can mindlessly scroll social media, okay, Chelsea, or binge a show nonstop, but I desire for my rest to still focus on him. Boom, shakalaka. Amen. And Chris's older sister says she loves laundry. I have I questions. I believe that. I believe that. Do I know she, his older sister? You, uh, she, if someone's playing piano and it's not Tim Friesen, okay. that's his sister. Okay. Her name's Lydia. Yeah, I know her. Okay, I thought so. Well, I'm going to ask her why she, like, how yeah. she got there. Cause. We're going <laughs> to <we're gonna laughs> judge her next <laughs> I like I want to go get a checklist from Andrew and Sedona. I want to go find out from Lydia, like, teach me your ways of how to love laundry so I cannot do it on Sabbath. Oh, my goodness. That's and so good. Pastor Mark said, remember, rest looks different for everyone. I would that's not consider a horseback ride rest. It's too hard for me. But oh, that is that Pastor, Pastor Mike. Pastor Mike's, yeah. 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 The last time I went horseback riding. It wasn't rest. I can t- I can Mm-mm. I can attest to that with Pastor Mark. But My then again, somebody else fishing. Yeah, no, yeah. for me it was be- it was yeah. the posterior. The yeah, all of it. Yeah, I, d- I didn't find that. <laughs> I looked good in the pictures. <laughs> Miss Sandy, stop laughing. Just I do it looked for the gram and you're fine. That's oh, what it is. <laughs> oh no, it was a long time ago. Those those pictures had to be developed. Oh, remember okay. those days? Yeah, I do. Oof. I do remember those. That's when you thought you looked good and you. Mm-hmm. Ugh. Dang, did I make that face? <laughs> oh my gosh, that is hilarious. <laughs> oh, oh Lydia's the wrong sister. Oh, what? Three and a half years younger than Chris. My older sister is the one I'm currently living with back here. Okay, so oh. um, send her my contact info. It is <laughs> I would love to chat with her. <laughs> That's funny. So he's talking about his older sister? <clears throat> mm-hmm. That's what he said, older sister. Which one? The one he's living with in Pennsylvania. I don't know which one. Two and anyway. a half. Anyway. Chauncey is Darius Darius Rucker. Rucker. <laughs> I apologize because <laughs> immediately my head went to uh, Key and Pill. Hootie! I went Hootie, Hootie and the Blowfish too, and I'm like, what are you talking about? 
<laughs> he is not Hootie anymore, nor no. is he the Blowfish. He is a country <laughs> artist now. <laughs> I know. I listen to country. That's what's so funny. Oh, my gosh. <coughs> Pastor been... Mark, knock it off. Okay. He's derailing us. Man, can you imagine if he was in here with us, too? Ugh. Brittany the... Whoa! I'm Brittany the Blowfish. The blo- <laughs> I'm moving on. So, yeah. <laughs> so we don't enter rest, yada yada. Pastor Mike's going to watch this and be like, what even <laughs> just happened here? No, there there have been some gold nuggets we have There have, have been some gold nuggets. So we nuggets. can have five minutes of just completely <laughs> derailing it. Unhinged. We're unhinged, Delulu, <laughs> whatever this is. Um, And so one thing that I put a big star asterisk next to, I yeah, underlined it, it. I said, it's the drifting part. People don't oh. drift towards holiness. No. Why can't we? Like, I know, but man. Because it wouldn't be drifting then. <coughs> uh, like a fish just. It was, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was a previous pastor who, who used to say, and he didn't say this to like the congregation. He would talk to mm-hmm. the team. He would say, everyone is moving. Everyone's moving in a direction. Mm-hmm. You're either going to be moving closer to God or you're moving further away. Mm. No one stands still. And yeah. and I don't even think it's a situation where you can't stand still. You have to move away from God. I believe that c- because we do follow God, mm-hmm. if you stop, mm-hmm. he's going to get he's going to he's continuing yeah. to move. So now you're not following him. So even though you're not maybe doing something inherently wrong, you're not following him, so right. you are getting further away. Which is inherently wrong. Right. Because anything without him, exactly. the absence of God wrong. is not yeah. Yeah, what we should do. makes me think, so a couple of years ago, I went up to Alaska, and we went fishing. And I am ruined for fishing. I'm not a big <laughs> fisher person anyway. Like, let's be real. I like Not how you rest. I um, <laughs> No, and I don't eat fish. So I'm oh. like, this is just for sport. Right. And it was awesome because yeah. there's like a million fish in the Wood Alaska, River or Kenai, yeah. wherever we were. Um, but you could see just thousands of fish swimming by mm. and you see them working there. You know, yep, you have constantly. to go up yep. the current, up the stream. But then you would see some like whoop, go back and then move forward, forward go back yeah. and and they're doing a little cha cha and I'm like oh I feel that like I'm that fish <laughs> I do the little cha cha where it's like okay now I'm gonna rest unrighteously rest for a yep. <laughs> well I do a little unrighteous resting mm-hmm. where I drift backwards mm-hmm. and then it's like oh I gotta I gotta Keep go going, yeah. yeah we're we're in the current we're fighting and this culture and the world like oh. it is pulling us back constantly and so I and so many lures in the water yeah mm. yes so yes ooh that's yeah my husband's gonna be so stoked <laughs> that I used an Alaska <laughs> fishing metaphor for this he's gonna be so excited. Pastor Mark said, going to holiness has to be intentional. God calls us to it. We don't just naturally go there because of our sin nature. Mm. And Chris said, standing still and resting sometimes is actually moving forward with God, too. Uh, when you're when you're Sabbathing, absolutely. Mm-hmm. But we're not talking about that. We're talking about drifting. And yeah. what drifting is, is like all the other things that she was talking about. Like mm-hmm. with, with uh, what Chelsea said, where... If Resting you're binging, in the world. right? You're, mm-hmm. If you're binging Netflix, technically you're not <coughs> working. Mm-hmm. But how is that honoring God, and how is that mm. Sabbathing with God? Mm-hmm. Especially mm. some of the shows they got on Netflix. Mm. Mm. Yeah, <coughs> and that it alludes to Hebrews two one, which I did not read. It says, um, "We must pay most careful attention, therefore, to what we have heard, so that we do not drift away." Mm. And he said, "We drift and or slouch in our prayer, in our seeking of Christ, and we call it freedom." Freedom to rest from seeking Christ and true rest is only found in a relationship with Christ. And he was talking, uh, it made me think of the verse, grace is not a license to sin. Mm, And so so when you talked earlier about living with grace or living with the commandment, you know, under the law, Mm -hmm. it's like we live with this, but we, we use it as a license to sin all the time. We do. I've, there was a movie called The Grace Card, but I specifically remember a pastor using that as, he said, do you live your Christian life like you have a grace card? Like, I can mm-hmm. do what I want, and mm-hmm. then when you get into trouble, you pu- you whip it out like it's a credit card. Yeah. And that's just not how, mm. that's not how we should live. Mm-hmm. And in fact, he was talking to someone um, last week. He ran into a guy, and <coughs> <coughs> the guy, you know, said he's a, a Christian, and, and then he asked him, but but 
you've made that decision. I understand. Mm-hmm. But are you are is Jesus the Lord of your life? Mm-hmm. And it's the difference between a one time decision because mm-hmm. you go back to that the scripture that said, Lord, Lord, didn't we do all oh. these things in your name? Yeah. And didn't we prophesy? Didn't we right. heal the sick? Didn't we do all these things in your name? So yeah, you knew his name and mm-hmm. you you did all that. But was he the Lord of your life? Did yeah. were you actively seeking and following him? Mm-hmm. And man, that's one of those things where when I run into when I run into people, mm. like something that's changed over the last probably decade in my Christianity is I don't attack people who are the world and try to, I I think, I think Mm -hmm. church culture has done too much of that. Where Mm -hmm. like you filthy sinners and instead I'm talking to people who call themselves Christians who look the same as the world. Yeah. The lukewarm. The lukewarm. Mm -hmm. And I'm not upset with them. I used to be them. Mm -hmm. I don't want them to be in that situation going, Lord, Lord, didn't I? Didn't I, when I was seven years old, yeah. get jump into the pool and, and dip mm-hmm. under, and, and didn't I? And and I don't want to. That's the, the that's the terrifying part about the end of that verse is the Lord's like, depart from me. I never, never knew, knew you. you. And that verse makes me choke up every, every single time. S- that one and the other one um, that just reminds me of that <coughs> is when... The rich man and Lazarus, mm. when he's like, the rich man, you had all your riches while you were on earth, and now mm-hmm. you, this is your situation. And can you ask Lazarus to dip his finger in water and just let me, f- as a man, <laughs> one thing a man as a is man. <laughs> not really going to be asking for is another man to stick mm-hmm. his finger into his mouth. So... <laughs> That to me <laughs> really brings brings it home. Yeah. How the bad humility. separation oh. right. How bad separation <coughs> from God is. Mm-hmm. I'm not worried about lake of fire. I'm worried about simply separation from God. I never yeah. want to be in place where I can't reach out and talk to God. And that mm-hmm. is what I see hell defined as. Mm-hmm. Separation from God. Mm-hmm. He's he. Jesus was only upset twice. And I don't even really think Garden of Gethsemane, you can call him upset. He was sweating. Sorrowful. Sorrowful Mm -hmm. is when, my God, how you've forsaken me. Like, that's the only time I see that. Yeah. That, and that is heartbreaking. Mm -hmm. Anyway, that was a pretty bad segue. Not not bad. No, I I love that because, I mean, that's the heart of. What something that Pastor Mike talks about all the time is discipleship. Mm. And we know Pastor Mike has a huge heart for oh, discipleship. For sure. And I think that's what we will never be the aroma of Christ Ooh. if we stink. Like so the aroma good. of Christ is not stinky like Mm-mm. your van is going to be driving down <laughs> to men's retreat. <laughs> it's going to be worse like, on the way back up. How you like that callback? Um, it, it, it really is. I mean, we want to be a sweet. I mean, Aroma. the world will Ooh. know us by his uh, by our love, mm. and if we are and being loving, is telling the truth, Amen. and it is calling lukewarm Christians out gently, Amen. saying, "Hey, there's more for you. There's more for you in so Christ. There's freedom." Yes. So that drifting, I just I see that I have done that. <laughs> mm. I've been there. Mm. Um, if I'm and all of us are susceptible if we're not oh, careful, yeah. every oh, yeah. single one of us. I, I <laughs> love your, your your fish analogy because mm-hmm. literally like fish mm-hmm. trying to what do they call it? Spawn trying to get up mm-hmm. the, the river. The lures are everywhere. Yeah. And <coughs> what I love about um, being with God is he opens your eyes to the lures like you can see him a little bit better. Mm-hmm. But you got to continue to follow mm-hmm. him because. They're, they're constantly putting new flo- uh, lures. Now they're putting stink bait out there, too. So now you don't have to see them. You can smell them. It's, mm-hmm. The world's coming for us. <laughs> the yeah. world's coming for our souls. What I love is he does not have the notes, and yet the next scripture is Hebrews 3.1. It says, Therefore, holy brothers and sisters who share in the heavenly calling, fix your thoughts on Jesus, whom mm. we acknowledge as our apostle and high priest. And 
it goes into Hebrews 3, 6, but Christ is faithful as a son over God's house, and we are his, we are his house, hmm. if indeed, so there's a conditional, if indeed we hold firmly to our confidence and the hope in which we glory. Hallelujah. And I think there is that acknowledgement that he is the high priest. Amen. And we can rest because of it, because before we had to go to the high priest mm-hmm. who was behind the curtain mm-hmm. to atone for our sins once a year. He had to, he had mm-hmm. to prepare himself the whole year so he mm-hmm. can get behind the curtain. Mm-hmm. You had to get your, depending on what you could afford, your cow, whatever your sacrifice is going to be. Your lamb, your dove, your goat. And you got to cut that thing down the middle. Mm-hmm. And it, th- that's just a whole big process. And mm-hmm. now... Mm. we just got to just live in it. And something that I learned after Easter, I saw this on social media. I did all of my, my homework to make sure it was (laughs) legit because don't believe it or not. Don't believe everything you see on social media. (gasps) I know (laughs) that could be the biggest truth bomb I've said tonight. Like, let's be real. Um, but this is my surprise face. The curtain, (laughs) the curtain that was torn when Jesus died on the cross and took his last breath, that was almost four inches thick. And it that, tore that's, three and a half inches is what it said. So here's here's on top of that. Yeah. So when I when I, when I used to be in charge of youth and we split up the group, I had the kids come up and I mm-hmm. wanted them to touch the carpet that we have, that yeah. sound carpet on the back wall. I said, imagine that tearing in two. Yeah. From the top down. From the top down. Yeah. But not only was it that thick, mm-hmm. they never, they don't replace the carpet. They right. did not replace. They just put another one on one so one of them got worn and old Mm -hmm. so it was multiple time multiple time multiple and it just tore into right down the Mm -hmm. middle from the top yeah to the bottom Mm -hmm. that in itself would have been like say what that i would be i'd probably pee my pants (laughs) absolutely (laughs) (laughs) that's a pants peeing situation right there it really really is really is and i i think that is just such a perfect imagery and God showing that Jesus is now the high priest. Mm. He is our high priest and we get to go to him in that he is worthy of our rest. He is worthy of our praise. He is worthy of our, our everything. uh, Just, I'm trying to think of the opposite of drifting or intentionality Mm. or, you know, moving forward and toward him. And, um, Later in Hebrews 3. Hebrews 3 is just good. Like, go read. First if you need Hebrews. encouragement in the faith, oh. oh, just go read Hebrews. It's just Hebrews. Uh, Hebrews 3, 7 through 11, paraphrasing, it's talking about today, if you hear his voice, don't harden your hearts as you did in the rebellion. And he had talked a little bit about the wandering in the wilderness. And, oh, I've had some dry desert wilderness because of my own rebellion. And it's like, oh, there's the consequences of my sin. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at what I've done to myself again. <laughs> Pastor Mark said something that I've thought about. Our Sabbath may not be Friday night into Saturday like the Jewish people. It may not even be Sunday. We may have to work. And I know Pastor Mike is working on Sundays. Mm-hmm. Our day to rest may be another day. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I take off Monday. I have Monday off too. Yeah. That's cool. I just... I. I run my own business so I can do whatever I want. (laughs) I'm like, I'm just going to do whatever I want. And I choose Monday, except now with Jason being intentional and he only has the weekends off. He's, he's going to take probably Saturday. Mm. Um, and so I'm like, I get two. I'm taking, I'm not, you gonna hang out with him on Saturday. Yeah. I'm going to hang out with him. We're going to rest. I'm going to wave goodbye to him on Monday. On Monday morning, 5 a.m. Peace out. And then I'm going (laughs) to, I'm going to, (laughs) she got that. I'm so glad she got that. (laughs) He's been, you guys are missing when I'm talking. He's like interpretive dancing over here and we're missing it. <laughs> we need to have the switcher on hold. <laughs> we're getting some prophetic dancing up in here. I love it. How <laughs> oh, that's perfect. So pastor said, are you resting in Christ as your Lord? Mm. And I was reading a, it was a nonfiction book, but it had spiritual underlying. Mm-hmm. And this woman was you know, being lured by the Holy Spirit, I would say. And she said, you know, in learning about God, either you're a liar or you're Lord. Those are the only two options. And that has stuck with me. Dang. So every time I'm like, I don't, I don't want to Sabbath. I don't want right. to, I want to take this on and go do these things. I'm like, Ooh, I'm calling him a liar when I do that. <sighs> and it just, again, 
There must have been a comment that he wrote. Yeah, <laughs> prophetic. Mark, prophetic or deans <laughs> or pathetic. <laughs> Miss Santi almost lost. No, she did lose she it. Did she lose did lose it. She is, I'm waiting it. for tears to come down. <laughs> the tears are definitely there. <laughs> <laughs> okay, there's a third setup. Mark needs yeah, to be in here. We'd yeah. never, we'd we need we three hours. Get, yeah, we, we would need we, three we, hours. Oh my gosh. What time is it? Okay, we're doing fine. I'm yeah. like, oh my gosh. Um, I'm, I'm on the first page of notes. <laughs> <Dang>. <laughs> when I tell you he had so much scripture, um, he's talking about obedience being our rest and mm-hmm. that it's okay to rest when God calls you to rest. To that rest. was his statement. It's okay when God calls you and... Um, that's the thing is he calls everybody Amen. all the time. Amen. Um, and your lack of rest is it's disobedience. Disobedience. Yes. Yeah. That is a truth I didn't love. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that hurt a little bit. It hurt. It hurt. Um, mm-hmm. something that I thought was really cool is he brought in Matthew eleven twenty eight 28 through 30. And it says, come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Amen. I was so confused as a kid because I'm like, what do eggs have to do with this? (laughs) I didn't understand. (laughs) And it wasn't until one of my youth group leaders (laughs) was talking about, you know, (laughs) you know, the um, Oregon Trail (laughs) and the oxen talking about the yoke that the oxen had. And it it makes me think of picking up our cross. Mm-hmm. Like you think of, we watch the Passion of the Christ every year oh for, for Easter. And you watch the man playing Jesus carrying yeah. that cross mm-hmm. and knowing that it's likely up to 125 pounds of mm-hmm. what he's carrying mm-hmm. after being whipped, whipped within and, an inch of his life. Right. And bleeding, bleeding out, out and all of that. His his mm-hmm. muscle and sinus mm-hmm. was on display through his yeah. skin. It was so bad. Yeah. And now we're going to throw a log on your back mm-hmm. and you need to carry it. Yeah. And we're in... The Middle East, Africa, the weather's nice and hot for mm-hmm. you, so enjoy that. And people are spitting, mm-hmm. Mocking. throwing things. Not a lot of support along the way. No, and your supporters are supporting you quietly, silently crying, mm-hmm. but that's, that's you know. In fear for their lives. Yeah. Yeah. They're doing it from a distance. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it makes me think not that that's the yoke that he's talking no, no, about, not but at it, all. That, that that is not light. That is not light, <laughs> but he did that so that mm-hmm. the so yoke our is burden could be light. So that it could be light. Oh so that it's easier. So that um, we can share with him. And you, know, you think about all of the other religions in the world. What other religion would say like, "Let me share in this with you." That is so profound. Uh, I was watching or reading something that recently. Christianity <laughs> is the only religion mm-hmm. where God steps into your life. All the rest of them, you have to work mm-hmm. to get to God. Yeah. And you'll never be good enough, and they tell you that. Right. Christianity is God's already done it, mm-hmm. and he's just asking you. It's, it's like you're a child, mm-hmm. and you can't get up the step. Mm-hmm. You can't mm. crawl up it. You, you you can't get up the step. And God's standing on the step, and he's got his hand, and he's like, all you got to do is take my hand, and yeah. I'm going to pull you up. Yeah. That is so good. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he'll <coughs> that be was that st- unexpected, too. Yeah. He'll be that stability. Mm. We still have to climb the stairs. Oh, for sure. He's that stability, though. Well, we we got to take his hand, though. <coughs> mm-hmm. That's and that is so hard to do sometimes. Man. It's hard to do because we we're like, but but God, I'm a toddler now. Like, right. let me do it, just like I'm kids grown. are. I'm grown. I know everything, I man. Know it all. As I get older, I know less and less, and it is like <laughs> this ignorance that I live in. It really is bliss. bliss. It's like I don't know. God's got it figured out. Amen. <laughs> like what what P- if I could only go back and tell sixteen year old Brittany? Oh. <sighs> Man, the lessons you would tell her, yeah, and she wouldn't listen. I was gonna say, and you Cause wouldn't because I know <laughs> I had someone, because <laughs> I know I had someone. I'm like, who's like, this old lady trying to tell me stuff? <laughs> no, oh my god, thank you. No, right? I've been out of school longer <laughs> than I was in it, so I'm officially ancient to my 16 year old <laughs> self and be like, absolutely not, ma'am. I don't know who you are with your 
wisdom. Literally two days ago, I showed a picture of myself in high school to my youngest daughter, and she was like, what? <laughs> I forgot you were a person. I'm like, what does that <laughs> even mean? I forgot you were a person? person. <laughs> I mean that you were like, at one point, not a father. Like, my whole life, you've oh been a dad. Gosh, I love that. Oh, my that gosh. is so funny. Well, our foster son, we used to foster. Um, mm-hmm. He, for a, a school project, was asking me about what year I was born. And he's like, you were born in the late 1900s. <laughs> Boy. We can't say 1900s. You're lucky I can't whip you. <laughs> DHS will a, be all over it's it. It's such a punch in the gut. Right, because like 10 years ago was 1990, so how dare he? No. Like, <laughs> I'm sorry, it wasn't 10 years ago at this point. No, in my brain. I know. In my brain. Trust me, when people say 30 years ago, I think, what do you mean, like 1980? 1970, yeah. They're like, no. Yeah. Like I just think 2000 is the cutoff, and oh we stopped <gasps> from there. How dare you? I know, it's insane. <laughs> we have... We've really gone off. Okay. Um, so he had the invitation, and mm. I think this is a really good wrap-up um, and a reminder. Chris has already done this to put in your prayer requests so we can pray over that at the end. Mm. But um, he had an invitation for us to listen to God and rest when he says. And don't ignore the prompting of God to rest. In our culture, rest is not always acceptable, but God has your best interest in mind. Hallelujah. Best and highest interest always and he knows yeah you're like no i i'm pretty sure i would be a great ceo no no oh i know what you would be best at yeah like oh honey praise God. oh honey <laughs> bless, oh, your heart. bless your heart <laughs> <laughs> and this question that he really ended with was what if we simply rest when the world is freaking out mm. and that to me goes back to that is a different aroma that is For a sure. different like whoa why are you carrying that piece why, why aren't you freaking out? Mm. And what if instead of trying harder, working harder to climb that ladder, we rest in God's grace and allow him to lead us in the way everlasting? Oof. Mark 2, 27, Jesus said, the Sabbath was made for man and not the man, man for, for Sabbath. Sabbath. Amen. These words remind us that Sabbath <coughs> day was meant to be a blessing rather than a burden to mm. those who observe it. So good. Mm. Praise God. Yeah, that's... And that is, I think it's one of those things, even joking about like, ugh, laundry. I'm first world problems first world of, problems. I have the privilege of going into a different room in my house mm. with plumbing to do the laundry mm-hmm. that I don't want to do because I have an abundance of clothes mm-hmm. that I choose to wear, you know, and I don't have to do laundry for a week and I still have enough clothes. Yep. And how, you know, what a, I have turned a blessing into such a burden. And how often do I do that with Sabbath? That's, oh, bang. Yeah. Yeah. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> I want to record attention. this <laughs> and hype myself up every time I'm doing anything. Like, oh, you did the dishes today? Burr, burr, burr. Chauncey's hyping you up. Like, you rested today? Burr, burr, burr. A button. <laughs> like, I need a button. Not the easy button. I need the Chauncey hype button. That is, we could we could sell that for good money for the church. We could fundraise this like nobody's business. The burr, burr, burr button. <laughs> Oh, Pastor oh, Mark said, we're, we're part of the only religion that makes sure we know we cannot earn our own way. It mm. is only by the grace of Jesus and his sacrifice that mm. we can make our way to heaven. Hallelujah. Praise God. Humility. Humility. Nice. And and that's why it's so hard. Oh. Yeah. Being humble. Yeah. It can be. It, it can, can be. be. I think when you look at the grand scheme of things, you think the creator of the universe. Mm-hmm. Mm. is is bending down like we get excited when the moon blocks the sun <laughs> the creator of the universe who put all of that into motion mm. bent down and said hey what's up yeah i would like to to vibe with you <laughs> like we that's exactly what he said you guys. <laughs> that's chauncey 232 <laughs> That's the CLT, the Chauncey <laughs> Living Translation. <laughs> oh, that, don't look up. Don't, don't, don't Google that. Don't it's do it. There. You'll get something weird. You'll oh, my gosh. Something. We do not promote this. Oh, man. Pastor Mark but. said we'll call your hype button the hootie button. The hootie. <laughs> <laughs> At least it wasn't the blowfish button. Well, that's mine. <laughs> I'm the blowfish. Remember, uh, Mark would be the one to call me the blowfish full of hot air. <laughs> Man, see, you guys, look at how much fun serving Jesus is. Hallelujah. Yeah, that, right? Oh, 
wait. <laughs> oh, no. I hope they know. I hope they use that, like you said, for... <laughs> I, I'm looking forward to that. That is going to be fun. I'm I'm going to have to not be in the sanctuary because I'll be a huge distraction. I laughing. hope you do. I'm going to be falling down laughing. The, <laughs> I don't know what that is. Uh, I'm going to have to tell you because we only got five minutes left. I'm going to have to tell you <laughs> off air. That, oh my gosh. Well, that's all the notes we have. So really go read Hebrews 3. Like if you oh need. Gosh. Read Hebrews. If it just, yeah, all of Hebrews. But Hebrews um, 3. Yeah, Hebrews 3 really talks about the the why <laughs> of the resting and the high priest Amen. of it all. And um, I just, yeah, Hebrews is a really fantastic place. I recently, um, being super sick, canceling retreat, I was really struggling. It oh. was really like, it really. Not that I was drifting away, but I'm like, God, I was trying to do all of this for you, and mm-hmm. now I can't, and I don't mm-hmm. understand what you're trying to teach me, and I'm kind of mad at you about it, yeah. and like, let's work it out together. And he um, led me to Hebrews, and it was, mm. it, my Bible opens up stating what Hebrews is all about, and it's encouraging someone yes. who's lacking faith. Mm-hmm. And I was like, well, of course you would leave me there. <laughs> like, what a kind... What a kind thing to say, hey, I see you're struggling Struggle. because you're not seeing that I had your best interest in mind. From the beginning. And so I'm going to go ahead and, you know, would retreat have been amazing? Absolutely, it would have. I would have loved to grow with my sisters from the church. I would have loved that. But God knew what he was doing. Amen. And it's okay that I wasn't there. Mm-hmm. And somebody, you he's, know, he's it doesn't He's going to use it for me. your good. So mm-hmm. I don't know when. You don't he already know has. when. He already um, has. There you go. Yeah, he. I did ask for a quick return. <laughs> I'm like, please <laughs> let this be a quick return because I'm really bummed out right now. Yeah. Like it was a bucket list. When I tell you, having the privilege of teaching at retreat was a bucket list item for mm-hmm. me, and then it got taken away the week Ooh. of because I was sick. Yeah, I'm like, God, I'm wrestling with this because yeah. again, I'm serving you, and right. instead, I had three weeks of sabbathing. <laughs> I'm like, I didn't... Frustrated Sabbath thing. I did, frustrated Sabbath thing. Yeah. yeah, but we worked it out. And yeah. I think that's just... Praise God. He, he led me to Hebrews. And mm. and he is he is the high priest that we can rest in. So good. Yeah. Lord, you are good and your mercy endure it forever. That's the kind of stuff. It's just mm-hmm. like... That just... I think those songs, mm-hmm. everything in them, all the time, it's just like yeah. they're actually preaching it's music but it's like preaching to you god is good and his mercy endures forever amen i feel like my nervous system just relaxed when you started singing that i'm like oh that's good that's good that just tells you that it's it's not my vocals it's the spirit through it because (laughs) i'm telling you right now i beg to differ because you'd hear a blowfish if i started (laughs) singing I can't, you know, in the alliteration of it all, like I'm never going to, whoever's on here, they're going to be like, wow, okay. Um, so let's go to prayer requests because I don't want to be a blowfish anymore. Um, Chris said, I'm not sure how much longer I'll be awake. So I figured maybe I should get my prayer request in now. I love that. I hope you have good rest tonight too. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm seriously considering joining a mission trip with a group from this area. It's a week long trip to help with VBS and hungry. Yeah. I'll be fundraising soon too. So... You need the hoodie button. <laughs> the hoodie button. That's hilarious. You need the hoodie button. Do we have I didn't a, see any I other didn't prayer see any requests. Other requests either. Um, Miss Sandy's confirming there weren't yeah. any other prayer requests. <coughs> so, um, so we we're just going to tell you a few things that we had on prayer <coughs> on Monday night. Okay. Uh, Miss Linda, uh, <coughs> okay. the finance meeting is meeting right now. Oh. So praying for the finance meeting. Yeah. Praying for the new board. They mm-hmm. normally would meet yesterday, but things are moving and shaking so it's going to be at the end of the month okay so we should constantly be praying for our board okay um there is a gentleman named travis who recently got diagnosed with a terminal illness Mm. and it's one of those situations where they're telling him we don't know if you have three months or three years so be praying i (coughs) our god yeah is a is an an awesome mighty god Mm -hmm. um we know a gentleman who had the exact same diagnosis mm-hmm. seven years ago. Wow. Pastor Steve was still here. You know who I'm talking about, right, Miss Sandy? Um, mm. uh, Lisa's husband, Tim, Tim Perkins. I probably shouldn't say his first and last name. <laughs> On a <laughs> completely public. <clears throat> sure. Anyway, but I'm, I'm pretty sure that Tim will be okay with that. But yeah. Tim was given 
back in 19, 19, back in like 2015, 16. Wow. He was given a diagnosis. Yeah. Six months, maybe. Yeah. Hopefully a year. Yeah. And he's still, we d- he was at church Sunday. Uh, oh. Not Sunday. He was at church uh, Easter Sunday. That's amazing. Yes. Because God's an on-time God. It's just his Amen. time. Amen. Amen. So yeah. pr- uh, pray for Travis. <coughs> okay. Um, and it is now 8 o'clock, and I think that was my last prayer request. Okay. okay. You want to pray us out? Oh, I will. Yeah. <coughs> <coughs> Heavenly Father, God, thank you so much for uh, for your word, Lord. Um, thank you for Pastor Mike and him preparing this, um, uh, you preparing this message uh-huh. through Pastor Mike and preparing that we could go back over the notes and dig a little bit deeper uh talk a little bit more and thank you for all the the great um just nuggets of wisdom that mm-hmm. we're just dropping out of uh Brittany and myself um because we would not have been able to do that on our mm-hmm. own strength we know that mm-hmm. was all of you and your spirit so thank you for that we pray that you would use this to further your kingdom not our church not mm-hmm. um us mm-hmm. as people but your kingdom we mm-hmm. pray that uh over this uh as it goes out into the public domain that you would use it to serve your purposes. We know that you have a plan and, and we just want to move along with your plan. God, we want to lift up Miss Linda. We want to lift up Travis. We want to lift up Tim um, and and uh, Chris, um, all having different requests. Um, some of them physical. Some of them, they need guidance, Lord. But we know that you have a plan and we, we just want to submit our will to your plan. Mm. God, we, we know that you've said that we could bring our request to you. Uh, in prayer and petition and with thanksgiving so we thank you lord and we petition for these people who are feeling unwell who are feeling sick Mm -hmm. Uh, we know that you can heal them in a nanosecond it would be but a whisper out of your mouth would bring them healing but maybe that's not the plan for them Um, we want to pray along with your plan along with what your will would be for their life the way jesus did Mm -hmm. that even though we might not like the situation we don't see what you see Mm-hmm. And we will submit ourselves and humble ourselves to your will, God. But <coughs> you still said to pray from our heart what we would like to have. Mm-hmm. Now, so we are praying for the healing of Travis. We're praying for the healing of Tim. We're praying for the healing of Miss Linda. Mm-hmm. And we're praying that um, you would give a decision to Chris Boss that um, if money needs to be raised, that you would provide it in mm-hmm. ways that wouldn't even be money. That someone, the, I don't know, Lord you you do god Mm. and we pray for all others who might be dealing with some sort of financial situation lord we pray for the upcoming retreat this weekend um we pray for we pray for the whole camp camp kellogg we pray for the travel of the men driving from whatever distance they may be coming we pray for brett ricky who's going to be the speaker that week we Mm. pray for the the worship team that's going to worship we pray for the food that's probably being dry rubbed right now lord <laughs> but we we pray not not only would it be delicious but more importantly we pray for that spiritual bread that wow. you are going to provide for us that week that we would that men would gather we would grow mm. and we would follow and find new ways to follow and bring other men with us mm-hmm. as we all grow in our relationship with you mm-hmm. god we love you we praise you we thank you for everything that you do for us and with us and uh, as a part of us And we pray for all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Just a reminder to come (coughs) service 1030 every Sunday. Every Sunday. Every single Sunday. Um, Be there at 9 if you can for prayer. If you're not in the shower. Be there for for (laughs) 9 o'clock in the fellowship hall. (laughs) And yeah, Sunday 1030. And then every Tuesday, Two people are in here to recap it. And yeah, thank you guys so much. I hope you have an amazing week. And I hope that you find time to be obedient to the Lord's command to Mm. Sabbath. Amen. Hi, I'm Cooper. I'm Pastor Daniel's son. Don't forget to like and 